gonna touch the gate and before sunset, touch the skate and end it. Let's do it. The tires were just a complete failure. And of course, they get lost. And I say that and it's like, well, you have a GPS. Yeah, the GPS didn't even know what direction I was pointing. Look, it's going off. It's going like over there. Again, like in a super uncomfortable position. I have no clue. Like, it's saying what? So that? No, it's going off. It's going like over there. I get off the with with Gucci Trail, and I go up this big embankment. Can't ride my bike, so get off of it, push it up the embankment, come off, and then I'm like looking at the GPS, and I'm like, there's no way. Like, what? I've got to go next to this big construction site where there's just like there was like a big like lumber yard or something like that with you know barbed wire fence on one side and then what looked like a state park on my left side but there's barbed wire fence on that too i don't want to go through that Ugh, this is so stupid dude why would you do this You're joking me right now like i thought there was going to be nothing like this stuff on this route I really did. I was totally convinced. And at some point I'm like, obviously I shouldn't keep going between these two fences. This is not going to end well. I'm like, so I hopped the, one of the barbed wire fences and I'm like, how does that go? It doesn't go well. Okay. Hopping barbed wire fences is not fun. Okay. And, and, but I tried, you know, try my best and I was able to get over it and like clearly looking like I'm up to no good. I'm starting to make that swing up north and I'm trying to head to US 19. Yeah, I'm stopping for water, Coke, some food that's not gels real quick. It has gotten very hot and I've just been eating so much. It's been going through everything. I can't believe I went through all that. I mean, that had to have been easily 4,000 calories, maybe more 5,000 calories or something like that. There's a point where now it's kind of like everything's going numb. I'm just like getting used to it. I remember this. At some point you're just like, oh, that really hurts, but you just kind of get through it and you kind of get past the point. All right, so uh, 100 miles in and I'm at nine and a half hours picking up some steam, you know, picking up the pace a little bit, but still have just been um, kind of ruined by a number of delays. So I'm on US 19 and um, for the most part, like left and right have been like blocked off. Right now it looks fine, but I saw some guy doing this. So I did it too. It felt good to be headed south and um, to be going through a lot of the similar places that I've already been because I went through the same these same areas on the Spanish. You know, there's some like really beautiful parts, but in, in this case, it was super hot and every, it was just, you know, radiating heat right back at you. I remember actually getting really lightheaded and dizzy at one point, and that's when I like, it totally registered with me how hot it was. I believe we have to jump a fence. Like that. Uh, still got about 70 miles left. And I think my back tire is also getting screwed up. Feels flat, I can feel everything. And uh, I only have one more tube. So I can feel every single 
and and I pumped it up so I, I can feel every rock now I can feel the rim hitting and uh, I pumped it up like uh, 30 minutes ago or something like that so I'm in Wiki Wachi Gardens or Botanical Gardens, something like that. And yeah, the sun's setting. Um, I was definitely racing to get done by sunset. I'm not going to do it, but I'm at peace with it at this point. Um, you know, I've got about 60-ish miles left and I'm going to get it done. So, just hope this back tire holds up and, uh, yeah, race to the finish here. So 13 and a half hours in when I expected about to finish, I thought I was going to maybe finish hopefully under 14, um, I was in Wikiwachi Gardens, but that's an absolutely beautiful location to, um, to be miserable. Okay. Uh, the sun was setting. It's a really cool place. Um, you know, but, uh, ultimately I had 60, 70 miles to go and things were not looking super great, but just plugging along and I get the job done. Ain't that bad. Pretty cool that I like got here for sunset or about sunset and it's such a beautiful place. Started heading um, east and had about 50 miles left. And I just remember whatever was left ended up being like undesirable, just not really wanting to be there. Super, super, super low energy. get closer to Dade City and all of a sudden you're hitting these like stupid hills. I mean, whoever says that Florida doesn't have incline and some elevation change has got to go see this. I mean, it looks like a cartoon kind of version of the road just kind of goes up. You're just like, are you joking? And you just go up this, super fun come down, especially at night. Sketchy when there's semis coming back behind you though. I mean, I had enough lights on my bike, you could see me, but there was some uh, semis that, I mean, I think were just screwing with me, I think that's what it was. When you see someone out there that late at night and you're just not having a great day, I'm sure it's fun to just scare the hell out of uh, a biker, and that's what they did. It was enough to put some uh, fear in me. If I had to pump up my back tire twice, I tried to keep going with that as long as I possibly could and it was, I mean I blew up the back tire four times in the last six hours maybe, maybe more than that. In fact I should have done it again and I didn't. I should have just changed the back tire. Yeah. I got attacked by another dog. At midnight, one o'clock in the morning this chorus of barking going through these neighborhoods, waking people up. I'm, I'm sure people, when they hear that, they don't think something's positive happening in the neighborhood. <laughs> you know, someone's coming through. They're like, who is it? You know, and it's just like constantly, you know, just stirring up trouble in all these neighborhoods. That's what I felt like. So that was fun. Oh my God. It's like, what, the last 20 miles or something like that? It's been, uh, dude, I was going, I think, 35 down one of those hills. But I can't see very far ahead of me. 
but it's kind of bizarre. Okay. Holy crap. It's so hard to start going again. so slow, I'm just like barely doing anything. I'm amazed that I can like turn my legs. Looking forward to getting home. That was something. That was really something. Holy. I'm gonna touch the gate and the whole idea is that before sunset, I'm gonna touch this gate and end it. Yeah, I'm ready to go. That was rough. <laughs> so many times I just wanted to lay down on the side of the road. You know? Oh, oh man. So humbling. I, I just tell you what. I feel like after now, like doing two of these things, right? I'm pretty sure I'm aware of my capabilities at this point. <laughs> you know, if it, I gotta, I gotta be honest. That's crazy. I just couldn't turn my legs at some point. Yeah, you know, I'm just like. Whew. And then of course, I knew I saw on the map. I knew, like at the end was all this like uphill, like, you know. And that was brutal. Do do I do I feel good about it? Do I feel accomplished about finishing it, even though I didn't hit the time goal that I had? I, I know I could do so much better at it. <laughs> like, um, if you know, making certain choices and decisions, and also now being familiar with the the route, I feel like I can do so much better at it. So I'm I'm not gonna feel like super accomplished by it. Like, I mean, that was, that was brutal. And, um, but I, but I know I can do better. I don't, it doesn't sit with me very well right now. The, the Spanish, I was like very proud of that and everything. This, it doesn't sit with me as, as, as well. Oh, uh, yeah, everything hurts. I want to be able to, at one point, you know, one time maybe, call it out, you know, call a shot and, and come through and follow through. That would be nice. <laughs>